This is the Cardio Golf Core and Body Motion Workout. This section is to stretch and strengthen your core and to practice shifting your weight. We'll be doing a lot of rotation exercises in this section because rotation is a very important movement in golf and lack of mobility or strength in your core area will hinder your ability to rotate and get the club in the correct position. Let's start this segment by talking about posture. Your setup ultimately determines how well you're rotating your golf swing. When you set up to a golf ball, you want to set up in an athletic position. So take a shoulder width stance, and when you bend, you actually bend from your hip sockets first, and then add a little bit of knee flex. Let your arms hang down naturally, relax your neck, and this puts your spine in a neutral position, as opposed to bending from your waist like this. In this position here, it's very difficult to rotate. So watch the difference when I go back to neutral spine. I'm able to turn a lot better. So let's do an exercise to help you with your posture. Get into your golf posture like this, and then let your arms hang down naturally as if you had a club in your hand. Now simply take your arms and then stretch them up above your head like this. And you should feel a nice stretch in your back and in your neck and even in your core. Now from here, take your arms and cross them behind your back like this. Try to extend your arms as straight as possible. This exercise will help extend your chest. All right, this next set of exercises are to activate your core and to help you learn the correct rotation. The first exercise is simply put your hands together like this and get into your golf posture and twist from side to side. So let's do eight on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For this next exercise, let's use a golf club. Hold the golf club like this and once again get into your golf posture and then rotate from side to side, trying to keep your hips relatively still as you do this. So as you go back, try to wind your upper body over the resistance of your lower body as you turn. This would be wrong, turning everything together. In the golf swing, you want to be able to separate what your upper body is doing from your lower body. That helps create power. To make the exercise more challenging, use a hand weight or a medicine ball. This next exercise uses the same muscles that are used in the downswing and the follow through of your golf swing. So take your golf club like this, and again get into a shoulder width stance, and then extend your arms to one side like this, and then bring your arms across your body in a chopping motion, and squat down, and then extend up again. For this exercise, you'll want to sit on the ground. Get into a position so that your thighs and your upper body form a letter V. Holding a golf club, simply rotate from side to side. Now this is similar to the other rotation exercises that we've been doing, but since we're sitting, we're working the muscles differently. So let's do eight repetitions on each side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To make this exercise more challenging, use a hand weight or a medicine ball. To make it even more challenging, lift your feet up as you do this exercise. All right, let's finish off this segment by practicing shifting our weight. So go ahead and take a club and put it behind your back like this and get into your golf posture and practice shifting your weight. Turn your back to the target. At this point right here, the weight should be on the inside of your right foot. Your left shoulder should be over your right knee. Your back should be to the target. Now to start your downswing, shift your lower body laterally towards the target and then go ahead and pivot off your right foot and finish your swing. All right, let's do that eight times. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven, eight. And that's your cardio golf core and body motion workout.